Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and I am an independent Sensi consultant. So here we are for Sensi Box Roulette number two. So this is the second second box that I have sitting by my front door that I've had for this one. I want to say I got it earlier in the week. It's maybe like Monday, Tuesday. Maybe. I don't even but we're gonna go ahead and open it. It's a complete surprise to me what is in it. So we're going to dive right in. So let's see. Okay, so this is the second order that I made in the flash sale. So what happened was at the end of June, they did a flash sale. Um, it was a 24 hour flash sale. So it started um, at like 10 o'clock on one day and it was supposed to go until 10 o'clock the next morning. So I went in on the first day of the flash sale and I got some items. I got a whole like almost $200 order. It was crazy. So I got some free cotton cleanups, um, which that one is actually on its way. It should be here today, actually. So I'll be filming that one in the next couple of days after it arrives, but that I'll know what's in it because I already know, but, um, and then the next morning I, well, the night before I had loaded my cart and the next morning, I don't know, I think something was supposed to launch. Let me, let me look. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember why I wanted to wait until the next morning to put in my second order. So I kind of loaded up my cart. Um... And so then the next morning I was gonna go and place the order and um, the website was down for the flash sale page. Um, and so I was looking all over and I found an article that said basically like they had to end the flash sale early, um, but the page would still be available or something like that. And so I was kind of bummed out because what had happened was I still had the flash sale items in my cart, but because the flash sale ended early, the items in my cart went to full price. So I had, for example, I had the child warmer, which was $18 in my cart. It was something ridiculously low. So I had that in my cart. I was going to purchase it. Um, for the $18 and then I went back to look at my cart after the flash sale had ended and it was still in my cart But it went up to the $55 the original price. So I took that out I'm like, I'm not gonna buy this for $55. If it was still the 18 I would have gotten it um, But there are a couple of things um, I did Get Oh, maybe this was the beginning of July. No, I don't think it was at the end of June. I think it was the beginning of July. Um, but anyways, so there are a couple of things in here that were from the flash sale that I just decided that it was worth it. I'm going to pay full price for it. And you'll see once I get into it what those items are. But I was also going to be picking up a couple of things that were in the clearance section um, that weren't part of the flash sale. So I did add those in and as well as a six pack of scent packs that were on sale, the 10% the off for the month of July. Um, a couple of last chance items. So spoiler alert, we're going to be finding out a few things that are discontinuing. Of course, I will get into the full list once I open that box, maybe. Uh, or maybe I'll do that video sometime soon. Um, Cause I think I do have one of my boxes that's sitting by my front door is all of the new stuff. I have new catalogs, new uh, bars, 
for the new thing, but I don't know if I want to get into that just yet. So it's a good thing that this is my flash sale and not that one. I can't remember what. Okay. Yes. So I'll probably get into that later. Uh, I want to do the what's discontinuing first. So we'll kind of get into that a little bit. So let's get in. Sorry, I've talked way too much. Let's go. This order was $100. So I did get a package of free cotton cleanups. Well, $100 later, free. Um, and then the items that I wanted that were available in the clearance section, but weren't part of the flash sale, but were still a good deal that my kids love, um, that I don't want to run out of anytime soon is the no not spot dog detangling spray in tea tree and peppermint. Um, I don't use this on my dogs. Uh, <laughs> For one, because their fur is not long enough to get tangled. Um, I do like the Freshen Up Pup for them, but they don't really get tangly fur. So I decided, I heard some other consultants um, say that they were going to use this for their daughter's hair or their kid's hair. Um, that's long, it gets tangly. And my kids, man, all three of them have such tangly hair like their hair just like you look at it wrong and it tangles so I decided to give this a try and it really works like it is wonderful as a detangler for their hair and it is tea tree and peppermint which if you don't know tea tree and peppermint help to prevent head lice and bugs and uh, spiders don't like peppermint um, but yeah the tea tree specifically is good for preventing lice so that is a plus that's why specifically this scent i did not want to uh run out of it and we were starting to get a little bit low on the one that i had purchased um so i was like why not i'll just go in and get three more so it is now actually sold out i don't believe it's still in the clearance section um it wasn't my fault though <laughs> um they were still available for a couple of days after I purchased these, but they have since sold out. So I'm really glad I was able to get my hands on three more of those. Uh, when I'm done with this, I will probably move on to a different scent because this is such a good quality detangler. Like you spray it in and then the brush just like glides through and their hair can get incredibly tangly. Like you don't even know. <laughs> and I've just got it so much hair in this house and it all tangles and it's all a nightmare. Nobody likes brushing their hair except when we use this. My six year old even says like that she doesn't want to brush her hair unless she has this. So she is in love. And so I wanted to make sure to have plenty on hand. Okay. Next, before we get into the wax, we'll go over the set pack that I got. How many did I get? One, two, three, four. Okay, I guess I got two six packs. Um, but yes, okay, I got two six packs. Um, so let me just kind of separate these out. Pretty much all of these set packs that I got are being discontinued. Um, so we'll save that one for last. Of course, pink cotton. Pink cotton. I did get two of these. Um, this is one of my favorite like laundry scents. Um, it's really good. I like it in the scent packs for the buddies because it just makes like their whole bed smell really fresh, like fresh, clean, like berry laundry. It's really good. So I like pink cotton and that one is discontinuing for the spring summer. It is one that typically does discontinue. So I'm not really surprised, but I am not, I'm gonna say I'm not hopeful that it's gonna come back. I'm not taking any chances that it's not gonna come back or that it will come back. So uh, I did pick up two scent packs and I did also get some other stuff. And of course this one will be going into my club at the end of the season. Um, another one, which, make a splash. This is the first uh, catalog that this one came in a scent pack. So 
I didn't pick any up initially. Kind of, I wanted to, my whole plan was actually to kind of wait for the 10% off month because I knew it was coming. Um, I had a feeling this one was going to be discontinuing. So, um, I did wait to pick up the Make a Splash scent packs until this month specifically, just so I can get the 10% off. Um, but I love Make a Splash. It is one of my favorite summer scents. Other than, of course, Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze, but they haven't brought that one out in a scent pack. They totally should. Um, but yeah, Make a Splash scent packs. Picked up two of those. Um, this one, Satin Sheet. Uh, this is one that typically does discontinue oh, I can smell it. Discontinue for the fall and winter season. I don't know why though, because this is a really good like year round like bedroom scent to me. Um, and my oldest daughter, she actually, when we were going through and um, freshening up her scent pack and her buddies, she asked if I had this one available in the scent pack. And I said, well, I don't have any, but they do make them, so I told her I would pick her up a satin sheet scent pack, so I got two of those while they were 10% off. And then French Lavender. Honestly, um, this is one that I didn't really like have a strong interest in, but I do love lavender. I love the smell of lavender, it's really good. And I do like the French lavender scent. Um, and it's a really good scent pack for buddies because it's just one of those like, lavender is just a really calm, soothing, like bedtime scent. So I thought it would be good to pick up in the scent packs for the kids' buddies um, if they wanted French lavender um, or even like to throw in like a drawer like a dresser drawer for their in their clothes things like that um, but this one is discontinuing as well so um, and it's been in the catalog for a while I want to say so um, I don't want to say that it's kind of reached its time because at the end of the day like every scent has its time right there's not going to be a single scent that stays in the catalog forever. They're always going to be coming up with new things and things like that. They're going to be constantly rotating stuff. So there is going to come a point when French lavender is booted for either something else, something different, whatever. Um, so I don't know if it's now, but it could be, it could not be, but no scent is safe. And then last, one of the biggest shockers of this new transition from spring, summer to fall, winter is jammy time. So I got the four, yeah, I got four, four jammy time scent packs. This is a staple in my house. My kids absolutely love jammy time everything. They love the scent packs for their buddies. They love the pods in their room. They love the wax uh, when they're going to bed. They love the room spray. They love everything. The body wash. The body wash is staying. Spoiler alert. Um, the body wash is staying. They are also adding a body cream in jammy time. So that kind of like makes me think that they might bring it back next spring, summer. Maybe they're just wanting to make this more of like a seasonal scent. But at the same time, like they have candy crave in the body line and in nothing else. So it is definitely possible that they could be eliminating jammy time and just keeping it in body and laundry. So they're keeping it in the laundry, which is awesome because of course my kids love it in the laundry. Um, but I really needed to stock up on a couple of things. Um, you'll see in future hauls that I have coming this isn't the last that you'll see of jammy time. At least not for me. But I love jammy time. I'm so bummed that they are getting rid of it and all of these products. Um, not so much the wax because, of course, I do. 
I am able to put it in my club and I'm going to put it in my club. Um, but you are also able to get a brick of it, which I have a brick of jammy time. Um, and as of right now, they haven't announced that they are discontinuing the brick. So you are still able to get the brick in jammy time in Cincy Club orders. And so of course, like if they ever announce that they're taking the brick out, I'm going to get at least another brick, if not two or three, because I love jammy time. And it is one of my favorite scents that has always just been a staple in the catalog and in this house. So kind of bummed um, that they're getting rid of it. I know that the always get my bar is only for bars, not for scent packs, not for pods, um, not for room sprays. So I did need to stock up on a few things um, before I did discontinue. So let's go ahead and move on. I still have a whole thing of wax to go over which I don't think is actually not that much. It's just a little, a little bag. I was so excited that they put this scent in the flash sale. I was so surprised, um, but I love this scent. I have two bricks of it, um, but then of course I had to pick up three bars of Ghostly Greetings. So, and they look really nice. Like they're not sweaty at all. They don't look old. Of course they are, mine are in the new packaging. So good. I wasn't able to put this one in my club by the time I was starting to buy Scentsy. Um, it was only available in the clearance section in a brick. So I decided to pick it up and I fell in love with it. And then I was able to pick up another brick in um, or through another consultant that was trying to get rid of some stuff. Um, so I had, that's how I got my second brick and then now I have three bars. So come this Halloween season, I will be melting a bunch of that. So got those. And then the last thing, the last bar I have, I've never smelled this before, um, but I only got one walnut raisin muffin. I've heard great things about it. I've heard that it's a good bakery scent. Okay, it, it definitely does have some like cinnamon spice in here. It's a spicy scent. Let's see if I can get it out here. Oh, there we go. Oh, my dogs are just right out here and they maybe they just saw a squirrel, so they're getting all excited and crazy. So ignore them. Ooh, you get a little bit more of the raisin on the bottom. And I feel like the top is more bakery. Um, but the bakery isn't predominant in here. To me, it is more of the like walnut raisin spice. Oh, but that is really good. Kind of bummed I didn't get more. But at the same time, I paid full price for this, $6, um, when... <laughs> As part of the flash sale, I think it was like three dollars in some cents, three forty maybe. So I didn't get these at a discount, but it was worth it because I got three bars of ghostly greetings, um, and then I got to try a new scent that I had never tried before. So I figured it wasn't that big of a deal. Like I pay full price for wax occasionally so and this is an opportunity for me to smell something that i have never smelled and an opportunity for me to get something that i love that i can't get regularly anymore so i weighed the pros and cons and i figured it was worth it to pay six dollars per bar for these um i was really thankful that sensi still was allowed me or still allowed me to purchase the items from the flash sale, even though the flash sale had ended, 
um, I was still able to purchase them just at full price. So that is my second technically flash sale haul. First that you're seeing because my original flash sale haul hasn't arrived yet. It just barely shipped a couple of days ago. So uh, that was the first order that I made, but the last order to ship. So hey. Um, so what I'll probably do next is I have my box that has the stuff for next catalog season. I'm going to hold off on that. Um, and then I have one more box that has an impromptu, um, Scentsy Club order that I put through. So I will probably open the boxes and find that one and I'll do that video now as well. Um, and then of course, maybe tonight or tomorrow, I will try to film the discontinuing items video, uh, for the, the spring summer season. So that way I can get that posted before the end of the month. Hopefully I just have a couple more days. Sorry. My dogs are being really loud. I think the neighbor's gardener is here, so they're freaking out. Um, so, but this video is pretty much done. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for another haul, um, plus everything else that I plan on doing before the month is over. So uh, thank you so much for your patience, but bye.